Hello, good morning, welcome to another video all the way from sunny Mallorca. Is what I should have been saying this morning, but because of this virus, it's Godney Road in Glastonbury. <laughs> Today we're going to uh, go up Deer Leap into the Mendits, just do a little loop round and come back down into Glastonbury. It's only about 56k, we're not going too far, but uh, just stretch the legs and enjoy this gorgeous sunny weather that we've got still in this country, which <laughs> Is uh, a slight side bonus to the fact that we're not in Mallorca today in all that nice weather. Lots of cyclists about already this morning. Yeah, enjoying the sun, enjoying your riding, putting a smile on your face. That's what you need in these times, isn't it? Something to put a smile on your face and cycling certainly does that. posted this morning on the BBC News about uh, a village in Sheffield complaining about cyclists bringing the virus to their village and shock horror the village is 12 miles from Sheffield so they've already cycled 12 miles from home <laughs> a cyclist managed 50 miles without even thinking about it we'd moan about driving 12 miles in our car <laughs> but cycling 50 miles that's nothing see yesterday that um, Welsh Cycling have imposed a 20 mile limit to cycling in Wales so if you found cycling more than 20 miles away from your house you're gonna get fined which is probably sensible this is about being rescued isn't it I think if, uh, if you're at your furthest point from home when you think if I pulled a muscle now and couldn't cycle or if I had a severe mechanical and I couldn't get home and, and we've all had those I mean my um, my back wheel went on one uh, club ride and I got pushed home all the way from Godney so you've got to ask yourself, how would you get home if you're on your own? Well, I know I've got my wife who won't be very pleased, <laughs> but she would come and get me. So have you all got that rescue? That's the thing. If you are 20 miles from home, have you got a way of getting home without impacting on others and breaking the social distancing and putting other people in danger? You can sort of see that their point. So it's all what your conscience will allow you to do really. And I've been staying local and I'll continue to stay local until the, the restrictions are lifted, which hopefully won't be too much longer. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've just had a car come up behind me and I've just pulled over onto the grass and I couldn't clip out. So I'm just <laughs> Just dump it over. <laughs> See, these things can happen, <laughs> and you might need rescuing now. What a wally! What a wally! <laughs> it was on soft grass. And obviously, what's ironic about that is <laughs> I've now uh, knocked the front brake, so the front brake is now jamming on. So I've got to try and tweak it with a, with a little tool and see if I can fix it. <laughs> <sighs> Irony. And we're back rolling. <laughs> a little bit of drama, a little bit mechanical, but it does actually, ironically, provide that question at the same time. If you've had a little tumble and your brakes are jammed, could you fix it? Or would you be stranded? Or would you have to ride home dangerously without any brakes? Worth thinking about. Right, so I'm at the bottom of Deer Leap. I'll go that way. Not a climb we've done very often. It's only got a steep bit and then it's not too bad. Um, I should, should really explain what happened back then is I pulled over into the grass verge to let a car pass. The front wheel went in, a, in a, a rut and I started to go full left but I unclipped with my right foot normally so I couldn't get my left foot out in time so I just went Ooh, straight to the grass. <laughs> Slow motion um, but very funny. Not funny when I got up and I couldn't realise the brake move but we sorted it. So let's have a crack at this hill. Now, we really have some great views on this climb. 
just down there. One of the most picturesque in the Mendips, they'd say. Other than going down Blagdon, you've got the great views going down Blagdon, not so many coming up it. And of course, when you get up here, you've just got this view. It is incredible. So I've only ever really done that climb with people. And you're normally racing up here because you don't want to get beaten up the hill, as you do. I've never really just taken it, taking your time up there and had a good look round like I did today. Man, that is a beautiful climb. Should do that one more often. And I should also get my head up going up a climb more often. I do the same at Cheddar Gorge, just bury my head uh, at the ground and suffer. And that's a beautiful climb that we don't appreciate as much. And I've also noticed, we'll say I've been looking down, I've cut my knee. Not as bad as Joe's, a little scratch. I'll survive. <laughs> Didn't even feel it to be honest. You just seen there's a bit of blood coming out, but there we go. Onwards and upwards, onto pretty. And uh, Kamut's got me going down a road I didn't even know existed, so we could get lost. So it'd be fun. But this weather, oh, oh. the Mallorca weather in Somerset, just love it. Just absolutely love it. So I love the Kamut app for planning all my rides. Just a great little tool. Sinks out really easy with my Wahoo. It is known <laughs> for taking us on the odd shortcut, which isn't actually a road. So I'm putting my faith in it again. I'm gonna take this little turn out of pretty. Probably my most famous was a year ago in Mallorca with Robin. And I'll insert a photo here. Many a laugh was had over that route. We actually went over a common <laughs> and had a, a five foot drop, <laughs> which wasn't meant for road bikes. But here we go, here's the turn, Nine Barrows Lane. See where it goes. That's bringing flashbacks to Mallorca. <laughs> Luckily, that's the road there. We're going that way. So still no problem. That, what a pretty lane that is. What a find. Another new road ticked off not far from home. Do you think there's many left? I'm back on the main road. That was Tor Hole Bottom, which is a beautiful fast descent off the Mendips. Bring you down into Chute Mendip. I mean, now scaling up the other side, I'm going to go to Ember Pond. Another beautiful scenery spot in Somerset. I'm picking them all today, and I stunning. Making up for not being in Mallorca. Only thing we're missing is the beaches and the bikinis. <laughs> not that I wear a bikini. And you don't want to see Joe in a bikini. <laughs> so just, uh, just had a thought, and ironically, he's just popped up in me watch, he's giving kudos, Mike Jeffries. When we did the uh, East Mendits video, you brought us over here, and we went down a ridiculous climb that's covered in leaves. And we did say that'd be a, that would be a great climb to do in the summer. What was that called, and where was that? because we need to have a go at that next week because that was evil <laughs> Through at Crosscombe goes up there I don't even know if it goes anywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, dog's telling me don't bother. Oh, Kamut, you found a good one there. Woo! <laughs> but there's a challenge for you this week. Uh, every time you go out for a ride this week, see if you can find a new road that you've never been down before. See how many days of riding you can do finding a new road locally. There's one. Oh. I don't think anything's been up there. <laughs> it has been an absolutely cracking day. I really enjoyed that ride actually. 
I uh, felt like I was going downhill more than up. I just seem to feel like I was always descending. So if you want to have a look on my Strava and copy that route, go ahead. Beautiful route. Really pleased with that one. Uh, and if you're not following me on Strava, my link is in the description. You just go down in there and you can see, see the ride where I've been today. Uh, again, thank you for watching. I do really appreciate all the views, all the likes, all the comments. There should be quite a few videos this week because I am on holiday. So I will be doing my daily exercise. And I'm going to hope to try and catch up with a few Mendit members because they should be on holiday too. As we were all supposed to be in Mallorca this week. And we'll see if we can do some social distancing interviews. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you again tomorrow.